Hey guys, I'm Josiah, and last night I did The Unthinkable. I watched Solo on Netflix. Uh, this movie is interesting, to say the least. Um, the dude who played Solo, let's just get this right out of the way. He did not do a bad job in his performance. He was not Han Solo. He, every, during the whole movie, I was like, this just, this is not, this is not Han Solo. And he's trying. This guy is trying. Alden, whatever his last name is. I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. Off the top of my head, I can't even remember. But uh, Alden, you're trying. You're, you're doing your best, buddy. But you're no Harrison Ford, and you're definitely not Han Solo. Performance-wise, he did great. Han Solo-wise, eh. But he did his best. I will give him that. I love the aesthetic and the environment of this movie. I think that part of it is really good. The production design is Top notch, loved the kind of the grittiness that they brought to Star Wars in this film. I thought they did a great job with that. Um, Han and Chewie meeting, that was interesting. I felt like that could have been better. I felt like they could have had a little bit more build up to that moment of when they met, um, but it just seemed like it could have been a bigger deal and it wasn't really, it, was, it happened really fast. But uh, the rest of this movie did not happen very fast. This movie was quite a drag. It could have been a good half hour shorter, and that would have definitely helped the movie, I think. It dragged on a little bit too long. There was actually this time where I paused the movie and was only like halfway through the movie. I was like, what? There's still like, there's still like an hour and 15 minutes to this movie. What? No, please make it stop but uh no it was it was, it did drag on quite a bit by the end of the film i was pretty much just waiting for it to be over to be honest the relationship between han and what's her face i don't even remember the who amelia clark plays but uh amelia clark's character um their relationship was not very well done it was so hollow and i just did not care at all about what happened with their relationship Lando and the L3 droid romance stuff was really weird. It was just, it was just weird seeing a human basically in love with a, a chunk of metal. <laughs> it was just weird. It was just weird to me. Maybe I'm closed-minded. I don't know. It was just, it was just weird. It just did not feel right. It just did not work for me on the screen. Um, and then making her the whole sh like part of the ship was just weird too. Like it's like they trapped her soul into the ship, and it was just uh, man. There's definitely things about this movie that I did not like, but it wasn't horrible. It was better than the Last Jedi, which isn't saying much. I I'm fully aware of that, but it definitely was nowhere near one of the best Star Wars film. Not even films. Not even close. I'm gonna give this one three stars. I probably will never watch this one again. It's pretty forgettable. I really don't care about this movie at all. I don't care about anyone in this movie. And yeah, that's about all I have to say about Solo. So I actually watched the film and yeah. Rip Star Wars and The Last Jedi still sucks. And I guess we'll see what happens with the future. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief review and I will talk to you very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.